Right, on the intercoastal waterway. Which means? Which means? We have bridges! Yay! <laughs> no, no. Boo. Okay, here we go. Uh, we are on our way to here. This is actually Vero Beach we're on the ICW. That Fort Pierce this morning. Um, and here we go with the bridges yet again. The trip from Fort Pierce to New Smyrna takes over 10 hours at least. So we stopped by Cape Canaveral overnight on the way up to New Smyrna. If you watched our previous videos when we went down the ICW, now we're going up it. And again, it's a narrow passage that you have to really be mindful and watch closely. We use Aqua Maps with Bob423 from Facebook that really helps us to make sure we don't run aground. On this day, we were very fortunate. SpaceX was sending satellites up into space and we got to see uh, the at least the uh, smoke plume. We were about 30 miles away, but it was still exciting to watch on video. We arrived at Cape Canaveral right before it got dark. This day we only have four or five hours until we get to New Smyrna up the ICW. Another Basco bridge to go through. This area of the ICW was very cool. It was Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. We saw dolphins and we saw birds and of course there were a lot of fishermen there too. Often we would see fishermen along the side just standing because it was so shallow. Last time we were in New Smyrna Beach was back in early December. This is a great little affordable marina that is right close to town. Like many of the marinas in Florida, this one you have to be mindful to watch for the manatees. One of the things I was looking forward to being back in the U.S. was doing affordable laundry. This laundromat had working washers and dryers and I could do a full load of laundry for under five bucks. Of course, drying your clothes in the wind helps too. Okay, all right, so this is the beginning. The beginning of doing away with COVID and coming back to the United States, all right? So, stay tuned for what's next. Well, we warned you, here's the before. And here's the after. What do you think? Sideburns and goatee. Back in December, New Smyrna Beach was one of the towns that had really neat palm tree Christmas decorations. We were glad we got to visit the town in two different seasons. While waiting for a dinner at the restaurant that evening, both Lee and I decided we would do some art. Chris's memory 
was of the huge swells that we experienced when we crossed the Gulf Stream. Lee's art impression shows him at the helm and me relaxing. I'm not sure this is quite accurate. Join us next time as we travel to St. Augustine.